What's up everybody, I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek, and welcome to Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture show. This week in the world of movies, we got some kind of a, a strange announcement, but not one that was unexpected, coming from the people behind the Cannes Film Festival. We found out that Netflix films are banned from competing in the Cannes Film Festival. They'll still be allowed to show films during the Cannes Film Festival, but they won't be allowed to compete for the actual prize, the, the Palme d'Or of the film festival itself. And the reason this is happening is because Netflix has refused to release their films in theaters or simply just hasn't cared to do that in order to be compliant with the Cannes Film Festival's requirements and regulations. They, they attempted with the last couple films that they entered into the Cannes Film Festival, but couldn't get the last minute permits to, to show it in theaters in France. So because of those media regulations, they, they didn't show them, they just debuted those films on Netflix. And instead, they, they released the films here in Cannes, and now Cannes was not happy about that and now has outright banned Netflix from doing that. Now, this is a, a dumb, terrible idea, and it really shows the complete irrelevance that, that can is marching towards. Imagine if there were music awards and they completely disqualified certain albums because they only came out on CD and didn't come out on cassette tape. That's just as ridiculous. The Cannes Film Festival is supposed to be this measure of artistic quality, and there's nothing inherently artistic about the, the medium it, on which your movie is released, whether it comes out in theaters or direct video or on a streaming service such as Netflix. Cannes needs to decide whether they are a competition to find the best movies every year or if they're simply a competition to highlight the best movies that came out in theaters in this one specific country. Uh, because those are two very different things and, and both are valid as competitions, but obviously Can wants to be the narrow version of that and not the, the wider version that morphs and changes along with the movie industry. Netflix is doing some really awesome things with their films. They are, are really the place where you can go to find some of the most creative and most artistically adventurous stuff that's being put out both in movie form and in television form. And unfortunately, can just doesn't seem like they're planning on keeping up. So Netflix, I don't think, needs can whatsoever. Netflix has the eyeballs of, of millions of people every single day as people log into their service. Can historically was was an awesome thing that that a young filmmaker could could win or could could be a part of to to put the little extra uh, flair on the cover of their DVD that says you know hey Can Film Festival finalist or even winner. Well now those same filmmakers can go straight to Netflix, have their movie show up at the top of the queue for again millions of people in their homes. Again, can marching towards irrelevance while, while Netflix and other streaming services are kind of just reinventing the entire movie business. So again, I don't see it as a big loss except for the fact that can is, is not going to be important in five or ten years according to my prediction. So that's going to do it for Pretty Dece for today. Thanks for joining me to talk about Netflix and the Cannes Film Festival and all of the drama surrounding that. Make sure that you like Pretty Dece on Facebook at facebook.com slash Pretty Dece Show. Follow me on Twitter at Pretty Dece Show and visit prettydeceshow.com. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can find that by going to prettydeceshow.com slash video. And of course, subscribe to the Pretty Dece Podcast. You can find that wherever podcasts uh, are, are delivered to you. We're now on Spotify. Or you can look in the Anchor app and subscribe there. So check back tomorrow for another daily episode because you never want to miss any of the content.